you beautiful people. Uh, this is a video about uh, animal communication and it's a very powerful experience I had just the other day with our cows and uh, I'll just share it with you here. Um, yeah, because I've had some problems with the cows mooing at night and that sort of all calmed down so we had some quite a quiet period because I'd, I'd moved the calves and then the other night uh, Nula, the one, the cow with the horns uh, she just went berserk, I mean she was mooing all night and, and, and when a Dexter cow moos, I mean when she moos it's not, it's not moo it's very 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 loud and it's, it's like this, this horn from a boat horn or something and it just echoes through all the, the whole area we're in. So it's, it's very, very disturbing. And you just wake up all the time. And although you shut all your windows, you just can hear it so clearly. So, um, and I tried everything. I went out maybe five times during the night and gave her some more hay. Um, moved a fence to let her have some grass. And no matter what I did, she just kept doing it. And while I was lying there, it was a very, actually a very spiritual experience I was given. I was lying in my bed. I had all the worst feelings within me and it actually, they came over me uh, like sort of an electric current. So it was like it was sort of um, this, yeah, electric current going through me. And it was, it was very, very powerful and very uncomfortable because I felt so guilty that uh, everything was more or less out of control and as I've already mentioned we've had uh, we have this conflict with a neighbor who's very very angry about more or less everything here and of course he, he's the closest one to us and he was being woken up of course by this so I felt so guilty and um, after many hours so I mean by the late morning or the the early morning hours still more or less had no sleep I was I was starting to to notice what was going on in my mind and in my emotions and it was really just all the worst emotions you can have it was I was just being given these these waves of I mean fear and guilt and shame and hopelessness and an enormous uh, self-criticism I mean it was like there's this voice saying in me Listen, Katrina, what, what, what are you doing? I mean, you're trying to control these Dexter cows and turn them into milking cows, and you just you just don't know what you're doing, and you're just you're just so hopeless, and you just I just ruining the lives of the people next door. And I mean, what do you think you're all about? I mean, you think you're so great, or you think you can just do this, and you can't. I mean, this is a hopeless project, and you're stupid. And it just went on all night, more or less until I, I just got this epiphany which was how about because every time she moved this wave of negativity and self-criticism just came over me and I thought to myself I just felt God trying God guiding me to stop it and to actually practice when she moved because I had to give up I couldn't do anything to make her stop and um, so when she moved to choose not to have those feelings, but to, just to feel peace and just let it go, let it be. And that was so powerful and I've been sharing this a lot. I mean, this whole awakening process is about the fact that we have the choice to feel all this negativity, which is the darkness, or we can choose the light, which is peace and love. And sometimes we're in situations we can't do anything about or we've we've done what we can do and um, and and there's no use feeling I mean it, it never helps anything to feel bad about it so this was such a, a breakthrough for me and um, and then uh, the next morning I was sort of uh, pretty much um, I'd learned one thing that was to, to be calm but I knew with myself I'm gonna have to sort out this problem because we can't have this. I mean, am I going to butcher the cow? I'm going to. What am I going to do? And what is this all about? Because I knew this situation was trying to teach me something. There's no doubt about it. Everything we experience. I mean, even this 
this straw of grass has, has a message for us, there's no doubt. Everything we experience, and especially very bad experiences, <laughs> are trying to, they're, they're there because there's something we have to see and learn, which we haven't learned yet. So, what was this all about? There she goes. That was just a little one. <laughs> uh, so, um, I was lying down, uh, relaxing, and then I thought to myself, how about I try to connect with Nula? And just sort of in my, my mind and heart, to say, okay, Nula, what are you trying, what is it, what's wrong? What is this? And I took a pen to paper, which many people say when you want to channel or bring a message from somewhere, just put a pen to paper and just see what happens. And so that's what I did. And the most amazing message to me, which was so touching and so profound, just came from her. <laughs> and it was just like, oh my God. This cow that says that had said that noise thousands of times during the night um, was actually trying to give me a message from God. It's, it was a very spiritual message. And she was trying to connect with me. So I went on to the internet, uh, as a, you do, to see more about this. And I mean, there's many, many people all around the world who talk to their animals. And there's nothing mystical about it because according to what they say, according to them, this is something all people can do. And this is something that they believe all people have done in the past. We've just lost the ability. Like so many other things we've lost touch with. We've just uh, forgotten how to do it. So Nula was uh, actually, she opened this huge door and this new world for me, which is just, I mean, this is a complete shift for me in my life to realize with myself that the animals are actually speaking to me. They've got messages for me. It could be very, very, very uh, profound, uh, deep spiritual, spiritual messages, and it can just be practical things. I need some more hay, or my foot's hurting, or um, I love you, or whatever. So uh, I'm gonna, this is gonna be a, a major part of my life from now on to really uh, always just be open to which me messages are the animals bringing to me and what is it they're trying to tell me. So I found out, um, and I can read this message to you, maybe in this film, I'll just see. What she said to me was that uh, you're wonderful and all is well and uh, um, and that, of course, I'm meant to have these cows and I'm doing a great job. Uh, so, um, so really, there was nothing wrong apart from the fact that it, I had to learn this. I had to, I had to open this door in my life and this ability within me to communicate with my animals, I have to learn it, uh, re, uh, rediscover it in myself. So that's really all I had to, to know. So from now on, that's what I'm going to do connect with them and uh, listen to the animals and uh, yeah so so on the internet I found this wonderful woman called Marta Williams who is a dog who she connects to all animals and she's wonderful because she's just completely uh, just a, just a really natural grounded woman and she's not trying to put herself on a pedestal she says everyone can do this it's simple it's just uh, really listening with your your heart or your your emotions uh, and the, the animals the dog the cat whatever it can be a fly they send you messages all the time you just have to pick them up and uh, what was it I was going to say and she said talk to your animals so uh, start talking to them and start to sense uh, what are they saying to you and you can ask them anything and she said try uh, for two weeks to talk to them and say, listen, 
uh, I would love you, and that's what I did to, with Nula, I'd love you to be quiet at night. Because we, we humans, we need our sleep, and it's so important for us. And I just ask you, please be quiet tonight. Uh, and every night, uh, this is so important for us. And uh, I really felt this connection with Nula. It was just so beautiful. And uh, I gave her all the hay, gave all the cows all they uh, needed, so they had lots to eat. And all night was completely peaceful. There was not one sound from the cows. <laughs> and when I got out this morning to do the milking, I think they'd moved once very quietly. And they were standing, the two milking cows were standing next to each other like two little um, obedient children and chewing their cud. And they were just <laughs> looking at me like they've never done before. It was so wonderful. So like, we did what you said, mum, and aren't we, aren't we good, aren't we clever? My God, what a breakthrough for me. And, and, and uh, what a, um, this is just, uh, when, you, when you open your eyes to some new wisdom in your life, a new, a new ability, a new tool, which is just so powerful, you think to yourself, God, how could I not think that these, these beings are wise beings? And of course they want to speak to me. Of course they have messages for me, like a dog. They're, they're talking to me all the time. Uh, and imagine that I, it took me so long to realize this, that I can actually c converse with them, uh, have, have, have the talks with them, and that they are highly intelligent beings. They're not just these things with four legs and going around just wanting a meal. They're very intelligent beings. And what they wish the most is to be loved and to, for you to receive their love. They wish us to live in a love bond and in harmony with each other. So they wish to serve us, the milking cows. They like to give us their milk, but they want to be seen and be loved. It's very important that this love is flowing because love is really the essence of all we are. So the more, yeah, so it's all really about uh, seeing the animal, respecting the animal, and showing our affection to them, and understanding to them, and that's what they want. And they w love to send their love back. So we all, that's what's happening, the whole earth, every single being, every microbe, has this wish, this longing for oneness, that we all come together and work together in complete harmony. So my God, I'll be talking much more about this animal communication, my goodness, that's so beautiful. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you Lord, because it's all God. God gave me this experience of being so shocked so I, I, I learned two things. I learned that I have to start talking with my animals and that there's, it's just very important. And I learned another thing that is that I still have a lot of negative emotions sitting in there in my system. A lot of self-judgment sitting there waiting for a situation where it'll, it can all come up in waves and just hate me. I can hate myself. And that's part of my ego that's not being cleaned away yet. And it has to go. I have to stop hating myself and see that I'm a beautiful being. In every little corner of my pres of my consciousness, of my being, there must not be one little hidden spot with negativity. It has to go. So I'm just pure love. So, uh, oh, thank you, thank you, Lord. So that was uh, about this wonderful, wonderful part of our awakening process that we are here to connect with all of life. So, take care my friend. See you. Yeah.